Welcome back. We're going to continue into a new class of uh, reactions, and those are called nucleophilic. Okay, nucleophilic means electron loving, or some people also say electron loving or electron rich. Okay, now this is with respect to the reagent. Don't worry about the sodium. This this itself, this compound is known as sodium acetylide. Okay. Okay, it's called sodium acetylide. Acetylide. Yeah. Basically, it's acetylene and it's in its negative form. So sodium acetylide. I'm not sure if it'll be L I Y or L Y I, but uh, again, we're not in English class, so we're not worried about too much about the spelling part here. So we're starting with an alkyl halide. Okay, we're starting with an alkyl halide, and we're going to convert that to an alkyne. How are we going to achieve that? Well, basically, all you are going to do is, if I write the product, write everything that you start with, up until again this is why it's important you put dots on the carbon so you know this is where your carbon ends this is not a carbon this is just a bond again that's what we really spent time when we learned to name this compound so this would have been one bromo butane right you see this is the first time i've labeled the reagent because this is where things can get confusing because we're going to be adding carbons so we have four carbons to start with okay so let's put four dots and we're going to add these two carbons with the triple bond to the end where the br was there okay so we're going to add one more carbon and another carbon we're adding two more carbons and then that contains a triple bond basically we're connecting these two dots with this dot using a bond, which is this, okay? People end up adding too many carbons. No, you cannot just add as many carbons as you wish. You started with four, you're adding four. So there should only be six dots. These two dots will always be constant. What you start with will vary. Could You could start with three, you could start with five. It doesn't matter. You're going to only add the two dots to the four dots using a bond that connects them, right? So what's the mechanism? Well, there's really not that, that difficult one. So this is what we started with, right? So this is the carbon that are marked by dots. This carbon contains the BR, right? The Na plus is a spectator ion. It doesn't really matter much. So the C triple bond C is negatively charged, right? This whole thing attacks this carbon and in the process, it kicks out the BR. So it's a, it's, a, it's a single step process. So basically that's how you end with, you know, this carbon. Again, make sure you don't add too many dots. Again, this is the C triple bond C and we're connecting it, okay? This is how the product would have ended up, okay? This is the product, right? Again, I should not put it in brackets because it might think, give you the illusion it's an intermediate. But no, this is just a product. Let me box it so that it's no longer bracket. All right, here we go. So all you're doing here is whatever the compound is, let's say I started with five or three, okay? They only have three dots to start with, and I'm gonna be adding two dots. Say I react this with this, okay? Then I have two dots to add. I have three dots to start. So write one, two, three and then two more dots, right? That contains the triple bond and connect the two dots and you're done. So if you think about it, I want you to name this compound. So it'll be this essentially, right? One, two, three, four, four, five. I want you to name this compound. Okay. 
Okay, this is a class of compound called nucleophilic. There's one more. And this time, instead of C triple bond C minus, we have C triple bond N minus. Now, everything is the same. You start with one, two, three, four dots, and you're gonna add two more dots here, even though it's nitrogen, that's still a dot. Well, no, let's, let's not include that. We have only one dot, but the nitrogen will be in the compound. That's how we end up with nitrile, okay? But if you wanna keep that as a dot, fine, but don't count it for the number of carbons, okay? So that's why I sped and then I retook my word back. So all you're gonna do is one, two, three, four. The BR is no longer there. And you have your C is a dot and then triple bond N and connect these two. Okay, this is your dot, so connect it. So essentially we're left with, let me redo this whole thing one more time. Okay, I don't think I'm happy to my satisfaction. So basically you have your C triple bond N and this is the dot and you have four dots. One, two, three, four. You're basically connecting this. So that means you're ending up with a five carbon compound, right? So if you rewrite it, it'll be one, two, three, four, and five. And this contains the triple bond N. Don't add an extra carbon. That's why I'm using dots. So be careful. Starting with four, you're adding only one carbon. Now you can keep this as a dot, but just don't count it, okay? If that helps you keep everything in, in context, that's fine. And I want you to name this compound. How does, what is this essentially? Well, that's basically one, two, three, four, C triple bond N. That's what this is, right? Do I have to say the C? Well, I've shown you both. So this is nucleophilic and this actually has the same mechanism. So you, if you are interested in the mechanism, then this is the BR, the C triple bond N minus, the minus comes and attacks this carbon and in the process, the BR gets kicked out. And that's how you end up with C triple bond N. That's how you end up with this product. This is the mechanism, by the way, but we'll come back to this again at a later point of time. But I want you to know is actually how to get the product and name the compound. All right, so stay tuned for a different class of reaction.